Hello to the Green Corner in the European Parliament. Once again, we have our favorite uh, guest here in the corner. What are the other guests going to say? <laughs> Max <laughs> Dems. Uh, so you uh, have brought down the safe harbor decision. Now the European Commission has decided on a new one, which is called Privacy Shield. Tell us, uh, what's up with the Privacy Shield? Why don't you think it's right? Basically, Privacy Shield is safe harbor just with a new name. Um, they added a couple of things which are improvements, but overall, um, the European Court of Justice has said like three main things, which first of all was on the commercial side, US companies have to have essentially equivalent or provide essentially equivalent protection as European Union law mm -hmm. provides for. And this is not done by Privacy Shield. There are so many loopholes, you basically you can more or less do pretty much anything you want to do with the data if you have a lawyer that tells you how to craft your privacy policy. Mm -hmm. The second big issue was mass surveillance. The uh, European Court of Justice has explicitly said that uh, kind of bulk surveillance is not allowed. Um, in Privacy Shield, it's not just that this is allowed or not prohibited. Um, the, Euro uh, the European Union even accepts a letter from the US where they explicitly say they do this in like whole regions of the world. Um, so that's like an issue. And the third point was that you have to have some form of redress, some kind of court you can go to if you're unhappy with um, the form of mass surveillance that, that um, your data was subject to. And the US does not provide anything like that. They now have what they call an ombudsperson, which is a state secretary in the foreign ministry of the US, mm. um, not a court or anything like that. And you can kind of bring issues to attention of that person, but you would always kind of answer with the same, um, with the same letter saying that they neither confirm nor deny that there was any kind of surveillance yeah. and it was either legal or they have done something about it. So all of these issues that the European Court of Justice has brought up are not really dealt with properly in Privacy Shield. So basically, uh, it's just the same, but the name has changed uh, and that seems to be not enough for the European Court of Justice, as you lined out. So will there be anyone uh, challenging this new decision again? Will you do it or <laughs> what should somebody do? I, I hope someone does something about it. Um, I'm kind of sick of being the person <laughs> that brings up all of these issues all the time. Um, but there are obviously the privacy and uh, the data protection authorities in different member states that would have the option to do so. Individuals could, um, uh, that's basically it. And also, theoretically, the European Parliament would be able to bring that mm. um, up as well. But I don't know if there is any kind of majority actually. Actually, we had just uh, recently now a majority to have a resolution after summer still, mm. although, of course, the thing is adopted now and we yeah. can just uh, go after it. Uh, but, uh, of course, I also think it would be important that we send a very strong signal to the European Commission that this decision can't be the last word. It needs yeah. to be improved for the future and that uh, is particularly the case when we have the new data protection regulation yeah. in place in 2018. And this becomes especially <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> to have privacy shield next to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so we need to still go and fight uh, politically in front of courts and of course in the public sphere. Thanks for being with us, Max. Thank See you. you.